Hello everybody, thanks for the invitation. Uh, I'm working uh, as a director of CLE Europe uh, in Montpellier and I'm happy to present you today uh, a short version of our global market report. For January 2023. Um, this report is a, a short version of the usual one that we are usually doing every month in order to make something, uh, uh, a kind of summary of what happened during the, the year uh, by country and uh, imagining what could be the future for the, for the rest of the, of the year. So we have defined some positive uh, things for the year ahead first. The Drury World Container Index shows that uh, composite shipping costs so far uh, this January are 77% below January 2022 and 79% below their uh, September 2021 peak. Uh, further small week-on-week -week reductions are expected. I, I was checking this morning and I think we were another 7% uh, below the week before. Important thing also is China that has finally ended up with a zero COVID policy and reopened to the world uh, in January. So this could lead to uh, boost uh, in demand for bulk wine imports, especially welcome considering the slow market for, for reds uh, in a global way. And third point, inflation uh, trended uh, downward in North America and the Eurozone towards the end of uh, 2022. And there was a slight uptick in the, the consumer confidence. So let's start country by country by the Southern uh, Hemisphere and uh, Argentina where in 2022 sales were slow uh, internationally and domestically. Uh, Argentina can therefore provide a, a large volume of uh, bulk red wine, mainly uh, Malbec varietal. 2023 crop size might have been uh, reduced by uh, spring frost, but supply will still be large because of the 2022 carryover. 2223 bulk pricing uh, currently unclear while frost damage is, uh, is assessed. Uh, pricing could soften uh, through 2023 uh, to stimulate the, the sales. In Chile, the limited supplies of 2022 uh, varietal whites remain available. Uh, a large volume of 2022 red varietals is uh, still available, including Pinot Noir and Malbec. Pricing is stable so far. Uh, as some buyers have uh, signal, signaled their intention to take less Chilean bulk wine uh, this year uh, and that a good uh, 2023 crop size is expected, we are expecting uh, prices to, to soften. In South Africa, uh, some pockets of 22 uh, Sauvignon Blanc and Chardonnay uh, are available on the market. For the other whites and some reds, uh, the volume in general remain uh, available. The rand pricing is stable and the rand itself uh, remains uh, quite weak. Uh, dry raid available but at uh, high price due to the robust uh, domestic demand. Uh, 2023 crop is expected to be a, a good size. In Australia, currently the, the world's most uh, price competitive uh, export supplier of Shiraz, Cabernet, Merlot and uh, Dry Red. Uh, there's a high level of 22 uh, uh, red wine uh, at the moment. White wine market space and pricing proceeding as normal and it's not uh, and it's unaffected by the Chinese uh, retreat as a buyer. We have uh, seen an abnormal uh, wet winter and spring that could mean that um, these good water supplies for the, for the growing uh, season. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc may see a slight price softening in 2023 due to new plantings and growers grafting over to this varietal. In New Zealand, 2023 vintage has the potential to be large. Uh, Malbro Sauvignon Blanc pricing could soften if shipping delays cause a lag in the purchasing of the 2023 wines. So that was about uh, South Hemisphere. Let's talk about the Northern uh, one uh, with California first. 2022 harvest estimated at uh, 3.5 to 3.6 million tons, a third consecutive uh, short crop. There's a lower <coughs> Pinot Grigio crop this year uh, that has led to import uh, inquiries. Better Muscat crop this year likely to end uh, import demand. 
The Central Valley bulk pricing in January 2023 in line with January 2022. Uh, there's a high white grape juice concentrate prices uh, on the market that could lead to uh, import inquiries and uh, a rise in Australian imports expected in 2023 due to Australia's ultra competitive uh, pricing. In France, 2022 harvest is estimated at uh, 44 million hectoliters in line with the, the five year uh, average. Uh, Languedoc 22, uh, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay and Van France is in good demand. Better quality is likely uh, to be sold out by springtime. Uh, prices lower than uh, 2021. Regarding the reds, 22 uh, is receiving less demand and the pricing is stable, which is uh, actually meaning a lower level versus uh, 2021. In general, there's a slow demand for the carryover stock of the 2021 wines too. Uh, there's an attractive uh, price quality uh, opportunities to be had on the 22, 21 uh, AOP and uh, standard quality reds from the southern France. And uh, we can notice that uh, we consider that this is probably the first year where France is becoming uh, available with a large amount of um, organic wines on the, on the market. In uh, most of the categories actually, red, white and uh, rosé. In Italy, the 22 harvest is estimated at 50 million hectoliters in line with uh, long-term average. 2022 20, white sparkling and base sparkling wine have received good demand and uh, prices have uh, felt upward uh, pressure. The Prosecco situation hasn't changed that much against uh, last year. Uh, they started the campaign around uh, €2.20 per litre as bulk. Uh, the Pinot Grigio Doc de Venetie started around €105 to €115. In general, the, wed the red wine demand is limited and we also see in this uh, country the prices uh, going down uh, on this uh, category of wine. Regarding the grape juice concentrate markets, they became probably for the last five years the, the most, competi uh, most competitive origin for the European buyers against uh, Spain. Spain actually has been, um, has been facing a 22 important heat wave during summer that has uh, inhibited maturation and, uh, and affected uh, the acidity, was expected to reduce the amount of high quality wine uh, for this crop. Actually, the last figures that has been released uh, last month have shown that uh, the, the volume for this uh, harvest is exactly the same than the, than, uh, the one before. Contracting of this wine of the new vintage has uh, been taking place but the price is in line of uh, 2021. We clearly see a kind of slow activity on the 22 uh, wines, as buyers are pretty careful about uh, Spanish offer uh, and expecting probably uh, another drop uh, coming in the next month. There's a good volumes of 22 uh, red varietals and uh, generic whites, and their pricing are in line with, uh, with 2021. And the same thing about the grape juice concentrate that are expecting to, to go down in the next month.